Welcome to Quiet Five Thursdays. Well, if I can get this upload on Thursday. <clears throat> Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Hope you enjoyed that turkey and that stuffing and all that good stuff. I'm actually doing a Wi-Fi battle against someone who's not my friend. Some, I forgot what his name is. I'll, oh, I'll figure out the end of the video. So he throws out a Gengar, I throw out my Rotom, start my Rotom. So he Mega Evolves Gengar quick, uh, I gotta get up to date with this. So I'll just burn it with Willis. Pretty much meaning his Gengar is dead. <laughs> Anything I hit it with is probably gonna kill it next. But he hit me with Sludge Bomb, and he already hit me with the Shadow Ball, which is, yeah, gonna kill my Rotom, because Mega Gengar is just really powerful. So, to get rid of this Gengar threat, I just decided to throw out my, my, my Mawa, my Erika, the Destructioner, the Destructionist, that Mawile though, that Mawile though, and just Mega Evolve it, make sure I Mega Evolve it, and hit it with that Sucker Punch, death to all who oppose Erika. <laughs> And then he throws out his Tyranitar. Um, I'm guessing because I I know he's white. He would throw out his Tyranitar. And I went for the play rough. He went for the drag dance. I don't know why. He probably should just went for the earthquake. But it doesn't matter. I missed. <sighs> Hits with the earthquake anyway because he's faster. So I guess it's a good play because I screwed up uh, so I sent up my Rikusho and he goes for that crunch which I'm Rikusho just gonna eat that up not even half health hit him with a leaf blade mm -mm, straight up cut cut him up there's a lot of damage but not enough to kill and since he's already a plus one attack that's gonna kill Rakusho. Only be, and plus with the sandstorm effect too, and the fact that it was a crit. My Rakusho is down for the count. So I thought I'd just finish him off. I sent up my new Pokemon, the Flygon. The Dragonfly is here. Hit him with the U-turn. Kill him definitely and switch out. Yeah. <laughs> that Tranchar is down for the count. And Kevin, you, you got off lucky that I actually got a Wi-Fi battle because your battle would have been uploaded today, so you got off easy. So I set up my Chaos 4, my Vaporeon, to counter anything else he's going to throw out. So he throws out his Scizor, and also you can't Mega Evolve it, so that, that doesn't, I don't think there's any point of having a Scizor if you're not really going to Mega Evolve it, but I guess it's still pretty good. I got the Quick Claw, <coughs> Quick Claw. Acid armor, which means I got a plus two defense, which means I'm taking any physical hits this guy throws at me. He has a sword dance, so he's a plus he's a plus two attack too, which you know kinda evens it out. And now he has now he's at a plus four attack. Which as you can see later on it really is not gonna do much. And look at look at that bullet punch. That bullet punch did nothing. Nothing at all. I went for Hydro Book and I missed. I should have just went for the circle. And now I just took more necessary damage. I could have killed him. But then I went for the surf. Scizor is dead. He's really he's really not especially bulky. He's barely physically bulky, I would say. So he throws on his Venusaur. <clears throat> which again, another possible mega evolution. It's kinda sad that Venusaur is kinda wasted because Look at that ice beam. I did, yeah, I did a clean three fourths of itself, and then he loses a substitute. Substitute on the Venusaur. I don't know about that. So at this point, he's just stalling me. He uses Protect so he can get more HP from the Black Sludge, which is working because I'm just doing. I'm just doing in my power to get rid of that substitute. I know it. I know this Venusaur. I know this Venusaur runs an energy ball because that's what all Venusaurs run. They have to have an energy ball, energy ball or a solar beam. So took out took out that sub, and this is a predicted. He went for the energy ball, killing my Vaporeon. Super effective. Dead. Chaos four. 
And, um, how did I count this? Oh, yeah. You got <clears throat> guys' health back. So, I sent up my Space Meta X. Space Meta Fighter X. He goes for the protect. And I'm thinking if he's going to stall me, I'm going to stall him, too. <clears throat> I went for my sub. And then, guessing that he's going he's gonna to try and delay even more. He goes for a sub. I don't know why he went for a sub. He should have just went for the energy ball, but it didn't matter. He just de he just delaying this. He just just delaying this match more than it should. So I use curse up. So I got a plus one attack, plus one defense, but minus one speed. So it pretty much any any if I hit him, he's dead. It doesn't matter. He's well. I mean, look at his HP. He's dead. He hits me with the energy ball. Which has enough, which crit, that's the only reason why my subs, subs faded. So I hit it with the payback. <coughs> Excuse me. Hit it with the payback, get rid of that sub. And predicting that he would go for another, I was predicting that he might go for another protect, but I risked it and went for our second payback. He went for the energy ball, and as you can see, Space Meta X is just gonna eat that. That did absolutely nothing. Okay, it did something, but it barely did anything to be even considered a threat. Still makes me wish I was running Resto Chesto on this Umbreon. So he goes for the, he throws his extra drill, does the earthquake, which is yeah, gonna kill Umbreon. <clears throat> if I was at maybe at a plus two, plus two defense, yeah, I might have lived. <clears throat> So I sent out my flag on. If you did not realize, his extra drill was not running an air balloon. So, an earthquake is just gonna kill him. Earthquake with life orb on flag on. Oh, it equals death. Death to all who oppose. So it was Amphros's last Pokemon, and since I outspeed it, earthquake again, dead. GG's. <clears throat> that was a good game. He almost had me. Um, basically, there's only, I only had two Pokemon left at this time, I believe. <clears throat> and uh, his name's Arid. So, yeah, Arid. Good game.